P.O. Box 20057, New York, New York, 10023. And please include your daytime phone number. For a quick switch, personalize your switch plates. Now, they're simple, they're inexpensive, and a fun finishing touch for your home. Our next guest, Christy Crafton, project editor of Country Samplers Decorating Ideas magazine, is here to show us how we can make them. Thanks for coming Hi, in. Thanks. I've been taking a look at these switch plates, and they're just wonderful. I'll tell you, I'm going to tell you the truth. I have never even thought about my switch plates at home. Right. They're almost like a miniature picture on the wall when you think about it. Um, I've never thought. I really haven't. I've just kind of, you know, taken them off when I paint the room, yeah, put them back, put them on, back on. That's it. Well, if you have a room where you're pulling a lot of details together, this is another thing that you can add to it. You can, you know, personalize it to fit your wallpaper, your colors, and your style. All these are all different types you know, okay. that would fit different decor. So we would actually, you said that about wallpaper. I was thinking that, boy, if we have wallpaper, we for sure don't want to do anything with the switch plate. But, well, but you can you cover switch cover your switch plate with, you know, they have switch plates, which we use, um, that you can match to your wallpaper. Okay, or use great. your wallpaper. Well, let's start with these. Now, these are ceramic, is that right? Right, these are porcelain ones oh, that, porcelain. that you buy at the store. And they're plain. They look like this when you buy right. them. And these are, um, I know, you can buy them with designs on them, but we've personalized our own. Um, this one has little sunflowers on it, and then these are very simple little spring flowers. And then this is one my daughter made yeah. and painted oh, herself and designed neat. it herself. She's pretty, really? How old is she? She's six. And she's she didn't want me to help her at she all. She did that. <laughs> yeah. That's fabulous. I'm very yeah. impressed. Well, that's neat. Of course, a great idea. The yeah. kids can do it for their own room. And then room. put it up like in their that. own room. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. And it's very inexpensive. Okay, so the paint how you're do using. This? Is a special kind of paint from Liquitex that you bake in the oven, and then you can't wipe. You can wipe it with a soft cloth, and it won't okay. rub off. You know, uh, it's pretty well adhered. You'd okay. have to scratch it with something sharp to get it off. So, would you recommend that, or can we use a paint that that uh, we wouldn't have? See, I never really no, think about. No, I would. You, to... I would. That's why we did this because this does bake on, and you can even put this in the dishwasher. Okay, so you really want to do that? Right. You okay. bake it in the oven. Okay, yeah. let's go. You okay. know, I like this one. Well, we're going to try to do these dot flowers since they're because pretty since simple they're easier, for people okay. to, to do. And, uh, <laughs> Great. What you do, simply do, is take the end of your brush, and you're going to put it into the paint, and then pick wherever you want to put your okay. flower. And this okay. one, you can see, has five little uh, five petals. Five dots? Uh-huh. So put them in a circle. And this, this makes sure that our dots are pretty perfectly uniform. round. Yeah, and you want, okay. right, and you want to, um, you know, you might need to load your brush again to finish the circle. Oh, that is easy. And then, uh, let's see, wipe okay. off the end of your brush. Okay. And then you'd load it with a color for the middle, which in this case is the brown. I'll use this. Yeah. Well, this and is pretty easy. That. So you have been crafting for 20 <laughs> years, Christy. That is remarkable. Kind of you must just you must know everything that is happening in the crafting business. Well, I know I try to I feel I'm pretty good at asking questions and if I don't understand something I you know try to find out. And, yeah. Uh, it's like going to the hardware store, you know, you just have to ask. So I'm taking these leaves like yeah, that. Yeah, they're just oh. one stroke leaves. Oh, you can do it with the brush. Those are actually done with the... Oh, actually, but we can, obviously we can't Yeah, you do can it do like it this. with the other. Okay. And they're just called one stroke petals or leaves and you just lay the brush down and drag. They drown and drag. Uh -huh. It's do very simple. Do these have to be porcelain? Um, I would recommend, because this is baked on and a porcelain can go in the oven. Okay. Yeah. And then the last step would be, uh, if you know, see on this one, there's little accent. <laughs> a little uh, white dot. Right. Okay. But ours aren't dry enough. And you would simply take a toothpick and dip that into a contrasting color and then just okay. dot that. So that gives you a smaller dot. All right. Then we put them in the oven at and how long, at what temperature? I think it's 350 for 45 minutes. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. And then that's it. It's set. You can do whatever right. to it. Yeah. You wouldn't want to scratch it, but you can wipe it with a wet cloth and it won't peel off. Okay. It adheres to the porcelain. Oh, yours looks good. Yeah. Okay. They're really right. easy to make. Very and good. You can pick any color, you know, and really highlight your so room. So those are kind of simple, but look at, look at these. I love this idea. Yeah, these so are all done with decoupage. One. Yeah. Um, this one is old sheet music. Look at this. That you just cut out to the shape and paint on your decoupage medium. And Here's then this one. Where'd you get this? Is this? This is a Xerox out of an old Montgomery Wards uh, wow. catalog. And then the stamps. Yeah, and the stamps are from current stamps that are out now. And we've got a sample going here. Mm -hmm. What you'd want to do is t uh, save your stamps and oh. then soak them in hot water. And they'll simply slide off. You just the okay. paper off and these we've already done oh so then you can uh, take this brush and if you want to finish this yeah let's do this a little bit just coat wherever you're gonna put your stamp all right put can we get on. uh say ones that already have the sticky stuff on the back and just lick them and put them on oh there? I don't think I would do that because that tends to um you know from heat and they'll oh okay I mean, I so we want could. the glue so this is yeah, just regular this, white glue right 
All right. Yeah, those tend to peel up, I would think. But uh, you might be able to use it if you coated them really well with a decoupage medium after. Okay. Can we use any kind of paper? Uh, yeah, really, right. pretty so much. Just any kind of picture. The thinner, the better. And okay. then after you get after you get it done, you know, covering the whole thing, then you'd want to coat them to seal it down. And seal all the edges and give it probably two coats of the medium. And too. obviously that doesn't take very long no, to dry. No, Those look really good. Now, would we use those in, in say, a room that does not have any wallpaper on it, just plain Yeah, walls, I think that would be, or like probably. a music room. I mean, you yeah, can say a reading room or a bathroom. That would be really Yeah, the bathroom. Room. This that is all country western singers. Or, uh, or I guess musicals. Or what a great way to save some of those little things you don't know what to do right. with them. That's Flowers wonderful. would be good. Now, look at this. This is really fun. How do we do it? It's a soup can cover, right? And this is from seeds, is that right? Right. These are found uh, pieces of, you know, advertising, or this is a soup can label, and these are seed packets. And what we're doing is using these plain... Uh, I have never seen these. These you can find in the wallpaper stores. Okay. Or hardware stores. And they're designed to use your wallpaper, like what we were talking about mm -hmm. earlier. And uh, you would simply take the, the back plate and trace... This, you know, you have to kind of figure out where you want it right. on here. Take the cover and kind of plan it so you can figure out, you know, how your spacing is going to work out. And then just exactly trace right. it with a pencil. That's good. And then cut it out. And then you want to, um, I would mount it with glue onto a piece of cardboard to mm -hmm. keep it sturdy. Now, if we're using paper, I am kind of concerned because this is electrical. Right. And I'm thinking, should we really do this? Right. Are these, these come with a, this, this goes on the back, and it's a metal plate that protects it. So that's why we really want to make sure we get the right. metal plate. And the, the yeah, this, and this also forces the, um, the paper up into side okay. of the cover. Good. Those yeah. really look And then we good. did antique these, if you okay. can just this a, a little spray. bit. Right, this is a, a floral bit. spray. Right. And we just sprayed just a little bit to tone it down, just to give it a little Those more... Those are so cute. I like look. that. Now, this is fun, too, because here's a regular switch plate. And this was just done in wood. Right. And these you can are, see two different these ways. These are two um, metal looks that we yeah. did. This one's a, more like an escutcheon from a desk, uh -huh. and then this one is a southwest look. So this is just wood and This and is poster board. Poster board. As the back plate. And then we cut out a design out of the poster board, and then that is simply glued on the top of that. Mm -hmm. And then to, after it's dry, then you want to seal it with a clear sealer. Uh -huh. And then paint, we painted it with this copper paint, and you let that dry. And then uh, be, just before you put the patina on, which turns yeah, it this vertigree green. color, you have to give it another wash of the copper. Okay. And uh, then it Wonderful turns Wonderful ideas. Ooh, the very stylish. Not bad, inexpensive, and very, easy to do. Very, very simple. That's what we like. Yeah. Thanks so much, okay. Christy. And now next on our home, when they ask for a volunteer to make the wedding favors, did you say, I do? Don't worry, because help is on the way right after this. All of our recipes and instructions, along with stories and information that we 